peninsula is set in Devotional Bay on Banks Peninsula in Canterbury in 1963 in a rural, very rural setting. And there's a feeling of space in that rural community where the kids can go way up in the hills and play and the playground's a big, vast sort of area for only maybe 20 children in a one-teacher school. Gordon McIntosh is the teacher and he's new to the community and he's from Wellington and he's trying to fit into the community as a single man and he has a secret, <laughs> he has a past. Michael Hope is the central character and he's fascinated by subterranean activity and maps. We could dig an underground room with a table and chairs and everything with tunnels going off it. Where to? Anywhere we want it. That's a lot of digging. We might even find old tunnels from the volcano already down there. We could explore underground, find out what's going on under there. And the teacher who's from the city and doing his country service introduces the kids to the idea that this is Devotional Bay is in a volcano, and this really grabs his imagination. And Gary uses the whole rumbling under the earth that is a metaphor for what happens to Michael through the play. Lynette! I need my map! Peninsula deals with the loss of innocence, prejudice in the community, gossip and change. And it's interesting that it's set in Devotional Bay because it's such a little gem of a community. It's so beautiful and the surroundings are so fabulous. And yet under the surface, in these people's lives, behind closed doors, belies the idyll that is the rural setting of this absolutely beautiful paradise.